Hi everybody, if you're new to my channel, I'm Lori and welcome to Lori Book Trials. I got my book in the mail from Amazon, I got my book from Book of the Month Young Adult and regular Book of the Month. So we got a lot of books to do. This is going to be probably a long video. But I already opened the paper for the Amazon one, so we'll do Amazon, then the Young Adult, and then the Adult one. I'm trying to be careful because this Amazon I opened all the wrong way, so it's got all those yucky little things on them. But this is the book I got, the next one in the uh, Dance of Thieves series, and this one is Vile of Thieves. I love this. Let me um, move my Book of the Month stuff out of the way, and I'll show you what they look like together. So this is the first one that I'm going to be reading this month. So that's what that one looks like, and that's what the new one looks like. Okay, now let's get back to showing you the book. This is so, ooh, another map. I like that one. Look how beautiful. I can't tell you what this one's about, of course, though, because it's, it's the next one. I think it's just a duology, so I think this should be, I'm thinking, I think this is only a duology, so it should be the last book. That's what it looks like. I love the spines on these things. They're so beautiful. But I can't even read what it's about because I haven't read the other one yet, so. But it just says, Vow of Thieves. It says, the heart-pounding conclusion, so yes, it's only a duology, to the Dance of Thieves triology. Or, tr du duology. I'm so used to saying the other one, because I'm used to it being three. So that's beautiful, isn't it? I just love their, their maps. I'm trying to see if there's anything else you guys need to look at. Not really. Nope, nothing else, really. Um, and then, of course... There's another map on the back. I like it says Grayson Tunnel. And so it's different. So the one in the back is a different one because this one don't have Grayson Tower or whatever you want to say. So it's two different maps. That's also neat when it's not like the same map on both sides. You know what I mean? Like how some do. So that's my first book. I don't know why it was smelling. I don't know what it was. Oops. Okay, now we'll do the young adult. This is the first time I ever got the young adult one. I'm trying to use my my knife because I don't have any other thing, but I'm trying not to cut myself. I should have done this off air or off video in case I would hurt myself. <laughs> it's hard to get it. I am expected one other thing, but it's not a book, so I'll do it. Do it on um. I'll do it on my vlog later. Let's see. I got it. There. Got it. Boy, oh boy. I like it. says, Read Your Heart Out. Book of the Month YA. I love the inside of it, too. Look at how cute the box is on the inside. Isn't that adorable? I don't know why I like that box so much. But it's neat. Okay. Of course, you always get like a sticker. Sorry, I'm out of view. You guys should know I'm out of view a lot. So the sticker just says Book of the Month. There's nothing special about it. It doesn't say like, you know. And of course, I'm not an affiliate, so I don't get a cookie, unfortunately. <laughs> That's okay. But the book I got is Mind Games by Shiana Silver. It says, to save the boy she loves, first she'll have to remember him. Mind Games. I like that. I like the blue. Of course, nothing special about it. I'm not going to tell you about the whole book because we're here all day, but I'll read there is something on the back, so in a minute I'll read what it says on the back. But yeah, this is really like, supposed to be a good book. I know she can steal memories or something, but her memory gets stolen or something. It says, it's Sebastian, actually Sebastian Cumo, something like that. It's C-U-O-M-O. -O. His name pops up and my custom back in script hacks into his mind. 
with as much ease as everyone else's. I click on his storage, ready to deposit the same memory into his mind. But Sebastian has no memories at all. My arm sniffens. Stiffens. What? he asks, his voice growing more panic. What? Sorry, there's an error. One sec. I shut down the program and restart it. Once again, his brain is empty. That's not a glitch. This is a completely... This is That's a complete wipeout. How could anyone seriously have zero memories? How could they even live? My computer dings. The diagnostic of my mind complete. I click on the file and nearly drop my computer onto the floor. 7,694 files missing. Since I last ran the diagnostic yesterday, 7,000 memories have disappeared from my mind. I slam my lap shut down and shove it under my arm. I don't care about class or the quiz or the way Sebastian's staring at me with a face full of terror. A face full of ter terror, I mean. All I care about is finding out why this boy, who everyone but me seems to know, and I am both, are both missing memories. And that's all I need to know. <laughs> it looks really good, doesn't it? Okay, now the adult one. Let me see if I got open out. Let's see how it goes. Oh god, this thing is heavy, you guys. <laughs> like really heavy. <laughs> I got three in this one. So there's a lot of books. That's why I'm not buying any. I have one more book coming that I that I um got a few months ago, like three or four months ago. I ordered. I don't remember when I ordered it, but I know it was a while ago. And, I, and then I have um, of course my Harry Potter one coming. Oh, not my Harry Potter one. What am I saying? Harry Potter one. <laughs> then I have whatever's coming in Owl Crate. And then at the end of the month, I ordered a, a book that's coming. This one uh, it just says Book of the Month. And then it says To Be Continued. Da 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 da. -ma. Now the books. I got three books here, you guys. So be prepared. <laughs> And they're all like mystery or thrillers. I'm going to show you this one first. The first one I got was The Whisper, a novel, The Whisper Man by Alex North. Like, look how creepy. <laughs> oh, this is weird. This is like, this is like a brown color. I don't see very many browns when you open it up. Hmm. You don't see very many of those. This says, it says, if you leave a door half open, soon you'll hear, you'll hear the whisper spoken. Or whispers spoken. <laughs> it says, after the sudden death of his wife, Tom Kennedy believes a fresh start will help him and his young son, Jake Hill, a new beginning, a new house, a new town, Featherbank. But the town has a dark past. 20 years ago, a serial, a serial killer abducted I mean, yeah, abducted and murdered five residents. Uncle Frank Carter, I mean, until Frank Carter was finally caught, he was nicknamed the Whisper Man, for he would lure his victims out by whispering at their window at night. Just as Tom and Jake settle into their new home, a young boy vanishes. His disappearance bears an unnerving resemblance to Frank Carter's crimes, reuniting old rumors that he prayed with an accomplice. accomplice. Now Detective Amanda Beek, Beck, I mean, and Pete Wills, Willis must find the boy before it's too late, even if it means Pete has to revisit his great foe in prison. In prison. And then Jake begins acting strangely. He hears a whispering at his window. Da, 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 da. Definitely, you know what month this is getting read. Definitely a October month book. Looks so good. The next one is Lock Every Door, a novel by Riley Sagar. I think this is the first book I've ever read by this by her. Is it a her or is it a him? I don't even know. Well, by this person. <laughs> I don't know if it's a her or him, so. I'm not sure. Anyways, Lock Every Door. I love, I love that color. I love the scheme, like the purple, because 
next to green purple is my other favorite color so but i love the inside of this is that pretty too the color i like that all of them are different colors usually oops sorry this one says no visitors no nights spent away from the apartment no disturbing the other residents all of whom are rich or famous or both. <laughs> Says, these are the only rules for Jules Larson's new job as an apartment sitter at the Bartholomew, Bath one of Manhattan's most glamorous and secretive buildings. Recently heartbroken and just plain broke, Jules is captivated by the splendor of her surroundings and accepts the terms ready to leave her past life behind. As she gets to know the residents and staff of the Bartholomew, Jules finds herself drawn to a fellow apartment sitter, Ingra, Ingrid, Ingrid, who comf comfortly reminds her of her sister who vanished eight years ago. When Ingra confines at the Bartholomew is not what it seems and that the dark history hidden beneath its Lamorin Fricade is starting to frighten her. Jules break, brushes it off as a harmless ghost story until the next day when Ingrid disappears. Searching for the truth about Ingrid, 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 Ingrid's, Ingrid's disappearance, Jules digs deeper into the Barthmalu, how do say that word? Solid, sordid past and the mysterious, I mean, the mysteries keep within its walls. What she discovers pits Jules against the clock as she races to unmask a killer, expose the building hidden secrets, and escape a dream apartment that has quickly turned into a nightmare. Definitely another book that looks really good for October, unless I give it in and read this sooner. Cause I'm, out of the three, these two are the ones I like really want to read before, kind of want to read before... Um, before um October but I will if I don't have time to read it but yeah so that's the second one and then the last one you guys and then we'll be done and the last one is the turn of the key by Ruth Ware and this one's right Well, that part's red. This part's black and red. This one says, see, this is the first book I'm ever, I'm ever going to be, that I've ever read by her. So when I read this one, it will be the first one. It says, um, when Rowan Kane stumbles across the ad, she's looking for something else completely, but it seems like too good an opportunity to miss. A living nanny posts with staggering, generous salary. And when she arrives at Heather Bear, Brer, how she is smitten by the luxurious, luxurious smart home fitted out with all modern convenience, by the beautiful Scottish Highlands, and by the picture-perfect family. What she doesn't know is that she's stepping into a nightmare, one that will end with a child dead and herself in prison awaiting tr trial for murder. Writing to her lawyer from prison, she struggles to explain the unraveling agents, I mean events, sorry you guys, I can't even read today. Okay, let's start this again. Writing to her lawyer from prison, she struggles to explain the unraveling events that, le that led to her incarnation. Yeah, how do you say that word? It just wasn't the constant surveillance from the cameras installed around the house or the malfunctioning technology that woke the household with boobin music or turn the lights off at the worst possible time. It wasn't just the girls who turned out to be a far cry from the immaculately behaved model children she met at her first in at her interview. It wasn't even the way she was lef left alone for weeks at a time with no adult around apartment for the in apart from the in inner manic mythic how do you say that word handyman Jack Grant. It was everything. She knows she made mistakes. She admits that she lied to it. Okay, this is starting to give too many spoilers, so we won't read it anymore. Because I already told you, that's probably most of <laughs> half of the plot right there. I will read this part 
to you what it says here. Just a second. It says September, I mean, the 3rd of September, 2017. Dear Mr. Reckham, I know you don't know me, but please, 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 you have to help me. The 3rd of September, 2017, two, I mean, 2017, H.M.P. Cranworth, something like that. Dear Mr. We Wexham, you don't know me, but you may have seen the coverage of my case in the newspaper. The reason I'm writing, the reason I am writing to you is to ask you to please, ask you please, 4th September of 2017, H.M.P. Char, Char, Charnworth. Dear Mr. Wexham, I hope that's the right way to address you. I have never written to a barrister, barrister how do I say it, before. The first time I have to, the first thing I have to say is that I know this is inconvenient, unconventional. I know I should have gone to via my scholar, solicitor, but he's <laughs> so on and so on. I'm not going to read the last two. So that's how it starts out. <laughs> With her doing that. They even have like like the little ad. The one ad for later. But yeah. So all three of these ones sound like they would be awesome for um for um, you know, for Halloween time. But I'm gonna show you all of them. If I can pick them all up, we'll do this, okay? We'll do this. We will do this. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is getting heavy. We're gonna put these down <laughs> somewhere. So, out of those, did you have you guys read any, or is it, or any of those that look interesting to you that you might pick up? Let me know down in the comments. But I'm gonna let you guys go. I will talk to you guys all later. I love you. Remember, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. Hit that bell icon, you guys, for you guys will know whenever a video of mine is there for you to watch and enjoy and, you know, have a good old time. I love you guys, and I hope you guys all have a great, great day. Mwah. Bye for now. Lori out.